Question number 22. We are told the amount of money contributed by a group of students during a fundraising for a needy student was as shown in the table below. So we have the row for amount in Kenya shillings. Uh, this is a uh, grouped data. So we have from 301 to 400. Uh, two students contributed in that group, 401 to 510 students up to 901 to 1000 to student so the questions are a on the grid provided draw an or give uh, on a grid on a grid to represent the data uh use the, so okay after we draw the grid that is uh, the graph that is uh, uh, we draw the or give or cumulative frequency curve is also the other name for or give uh, we use a graph to answer part B of the question. So for us to be able to draw the OGIF, we draw the cumulative frequency against, uh, uh, against the upper class boundary of the classes. So what we do here, uh, let's include the, color, the, the row of uh, cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency, we add the frequency, so it is 2 plus 10 that will give us 12 plus 12 that will give us 24 24 plus 18 that gives us uh, that uh, 8 that uh, 8 plus 7 that will give us 45 45 plus 3 that is 48 48 plus 2 is 50 so that means the number of students that uh, contributed were 50 so we are going to use this uh, uh, this table to be able to draw the, the cumulative frequency now the the, the OGIF. now we will start our data the upper class boundary for the class that is 301 uh, to 400 we will start we assume that uh, the upper class boundary of the the, the previous class would have been 300.5 so that will be will be our starting point and then uh, we go to uh, 400 and, uh, and 5 like 0.5 on and on and uh, against uh, that is uh, we have the cumulative frequency so let's use our grid to be able to do that so this is a grid that I'm going to use and like I have uh, mentioned uh, earlier uh, we are going to to use a cumulative frequency against the upper class boundary so I'll start my cumulative frequency from zero. Uh, I'll go to 10, and then we have uh, 20, we have 30, uh, we have 40, uh, we have 50. Uh, that is the highest, as you can see, I've indicated there. I've put there for convenience. Then you realize that because our upper class boundaries don't start from zero, start from 300 if we start from zero it is going to be uh, with the scale will not be enough when you wa want to leave uh, to start a scale at a higher level we put a zigzag line uh, so we put this is our 300.5 uh, uh, we come to 400.5 those are the uh, upper class boundary uh, this is 500.5 uh, then we have 600 Point five. Uh, we have uh, seven hundred point five. Uh, we have eight hundred point five. Uh, we have uh, nine hundred point five. We have uh, one thousand point five. So this is uh, the upper class boundary. Upper class boundary. We can just mention that the the the, the vertical scale is a cumulative frequency. So we can come and uh, put it here, uh, the cumulative frequency. Uh, okay. Then we brought uh, the we brought the the cumulative frequency that we have against uh, the 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 cumulative frequency against the upper class boundary. So let's do that. We identify the points. Then we join. So we'll start from zero. We'll start from zero. So here will to be. Uh, this is a point. Uh, so that is uh, the, the the point. 
the cumulative frequency at this point we start with two that is our first cumulative frequency the next cumulative frequency is 12 you note one small square represent one so it is just direct the other one is uh, after 12 we go to 24 so this is where we have 24 the next one is uh, 38 so we go up uh, this is where we have 38 uh, then we have from 38, we go to 45, uh, that is where we have 45, uh, from 45 we go to 48, uh, so this is where we have our 48 here, uh, finally we go to, uh, uh, that's not correct, let's change that, our, 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 our point is uh, 48, so this is where we have our our 48 and finally we have uh, again that is not correct let's change that uh, so we want to identify point 48 uh, so this is where we have point 48 uh, then the last one is 50 so those are the points that we are going to join use your free hand to come up with the, the OGIF or cumulative frequency so this is a cumulative frequency curve or the all gift that you come up with after you use the points that we have I have uh, put in on our Cartesian plane and therefore with this we will be able to answer the rest of the questions so let's go back to the questions and see what we are required to uh, answer so the first thing we are told we want we are in part B we are told uh, Use a graph to estimate the median mark. So we look at the median mark. So the median mark, which we have here, uh, the median mark will be the value which was contributed by the 25th student. So the, the median is a 25th uh, student. So what you do is you draw a line uh, where we have 25 and you read the value that corresponds to that so let's do that so that is the 25th uh, student uh, that's where we have 25 uh, then we drop that line to see the value that it corresponds to that is uh, on the on the horizontal uh, scale so if you drop that line you find that uh, this is now the median and uh, you can see here we have a uh, one 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 small square represent 10 because uh, we have 10 small squares representing a hundred so if you approximate that you find that uh, the median let me put it here uh, median is equals to six hundred and five point five around that point although now there is a there is a, an allowance of error so you can you the, if you get six uh, six or five around six or five six or five point five six or six uh, you are still on the right track so let's look at the other question uh, the part Roman number two we are required to find the uh, the quartile division uh, quarter what you are taught is uh, median is when you divide the data into four parts a quote uh, into two parts rather sorry for that a uh, quarter is when you divide data into four equal parts and therefore uh, the quarter division we look at the upper quarter uh, we subtract the lower quarter and we divide by two that was that is a uh, uh, that that is a uh, we get a quarter division so let's do let's get the upper quarter. so if you get three quarter or 50 you will be able to get that uh, the, the the three quarter is 37.5 so we read the value that corresponds to 37.5 so that is the value that corresponds to 37.5 so the value is uh, we can we can call this uh, uh, q3 let's call it uh, q3 it is giving us six uh, 95.5 uh, so let's get the row quarter if you divide uh, 50 by 
by 4 you get 12.5 uh, so a quarter of uh, uh, 50 is 12.5 so let's get the value that corresponds to 12.5 so the value that corresponds to 12.5 uh, we can see it here it is which we are we are going to call uh, Q1 uh, so we have Q1 it is 505 Point five, so that is the value, and therefore to get the quarter division, uh, we are going to get uh, Q uh, three minus Q two. This is divided by two, and this is going to give us uh, six ninety five point five minus five o five point five. You divide by two, and when you compute that you get it is equals to 95 so the quarter division is 95 and that's how you answer uh, that question so we go to roman number three so we are told the percentage number of students who contributed uh, to at least 750 uh, and 50 cents shillings so we are going to identify 750 and 50 cents and we get the number of students so let's so we can see that the number that contributed uh for 750 and 50 cents is 42 but slightly above 42 so we say the percentage uh, that contributed uh, you say percentage it is equals to we say it is 50 minus 42 uh divide by uh 50 uh, divide by divide by 50 so we have uh, this is a uh, 50 uh, we put this is into bracket because it is slightly above uh, 42 so we add 1 uh, so this will give us uh, 9 over 50 multiply by 100 and uh, you'll be able to get 18 percent so that is the number that contributed at least uh, 750 uh, and above so that is how you work out that question is a bit challenging but uh, if you follow the right procedure uh, the way we have done you should be able to get it correct so that's the end of that question